morning. This is actually an amazing view, um, uh, and it's great to see all of you here today. Uh, my name is Mike Reardon. I'm the president and CEO of the Strategic Coordinating Organization, which is for the Greenville Health System. Uh, but today I'm here in a, a, a much different and in, in many ways a larger role. I have the opportunity to represent Furman University's Board of Trustees uh, as the chair of the board, and I'm de delighted to fill that role and to be here today with you on this beautiful fall day. Uh, at the Greenville Health System, uh, we can see the impact, as many of you can, that Furman makes throughout the world uh, through its talented and eager students, uh, through their engaged faculty and alumni. There's tremendous expertise and energy. And there's long-standing ties with the communities, um, Greenville County, but certainly the city of Greenville. Uh, the city of Greenville is a treasure, and I think Furman is one of its brightest jewels. Uh, that's why I'm excited to be here today for an announcement about how Furman will expand opportunities for its students, extend mentorship and engagement for its faculty and alumni, and deepen its connections to the community. Uh, so to make this announcement, it's my pleasure to introduce Elizabeth Davis, Furman University's 12th president. Elizabeth. Mike, thank you. You've been a terrific supporter of Furman University through your service on our board and through the opportunities you have created for our students at the Greenville Health System. A bit later in this program, we'll hear from one of the students who has benefited directly from our GHS partnership. Thank you to everyone in our extended community, students, faculty, staff, alumni, parents, donors, and community partners for joining us on this very special day. I'd like to acknowledge members of our Board of Trustees who have provided leadership for our strategic vision. Thank you. We also have with us today David Shy, President Emeritus of Furman University, and Carl Court, who ably served as interim president. Your tireless work helped forge the path that makes today possible. My warmest welcome to Minor Shaw, Chair of the Duke Endowment, Trustees Bill Barnett, Dennis Campbell, and Russell Robinson, Rhett Mabry, President of the Duke Endowment, and Susan McConnell, Director of Higher Education and Human Resources. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to recognize distinguished government officials, including Furman's own Dick Riley, former U.S. Secretary of Education, special guests from the offices of U.S. Senator Tim Scott and Congressman Trey Gowdy and many other state and local officials. We are grateful for your service. When I think about Furman, I think about an institution with nearly two centuries of history in Greenville and South Carolina. I think about our academic excellence and our consistent ranking as the top university in the state. I think about the dedication of our faculty and staff and the way they put students first, even as they are advancing knowledge. I think about the fierce pride that our entire Furman community, students, faculty, staff, and alumni, including alumni of programs like OLLI and the Riley Institute's Diversity Leaders Initiative, that pride they feel about this place and the doors it has opened for them. But I also think about questions that students and parents and policymakers are asking about the purpose of college. I worry about the trend away from a broad-based education to one that is narrowly focused on career skills. 
I think about the competition we face and the growing concerns nationally about cost, student debt, and most of all, value. With the launch of our new vision, we are here to boldly and definitively answer the question, what is the value of a Furman education? Furman is transforming the college experience, redefining a liberal arts education to deliver value immediately and for life. Today, we are making this promise to every Furman student. You will have an education that prepares you better than any other university for a successful and meaningful life. Furman pioneered the idea of engaged learning, but now we're taking it to another level. Going forward, we're committing that every Furman student will have opportunities for relevant, real-world experiences integrated into their academic studies. These experiences will combine our liberal arts and sciences education, classroom learning that is both deep and broad, with immersive hands-on experiences in the community, career explorations and internships, faculty research collaborations, and global study. Our new model of community-centered learning will put students to work on projects that have real impact in the community expanding their network of mentors and teaching them what works in the world. These projects will be informed by areas of pressing community need, leading to direct and lasting benefits for communities in South Carolina and beyond. These student experiences will be personalized, integrated, and intentional. That means each and every student at Furman will be able to explore their strengths and passions. Each student will have an individualized four-year pathway that connects their experiences in and out of the classroom across all four years, creating a superhighway to launch them into lives after college. This is our ambitious vision for Furman University. We are calling this promise to our students the Furman Advantage. In a moment, I'll say a little more about the ingredients of the Furman Advantage, but first, I want to explain why the promise we are making is so hard to keep and why I'm confident that we can do it. In 2014 and again this year, Gallup and Purdue University surveyed recent college graduates across the country. They found that students who experienced faculty mentorship and relevant professional practice connected to classroom and project-based learning are the most likely to be positively engaged in work and thriving in all aspects of their lives. Yet only 3% strongly agreed that they experienced all of these elements during college. The fact is that most schools don't deliver the experience we're promising, and they simply can't. They're too big or too complex, or their culture prizes research over mentoring students. Furman is one of the few places, perhaps the only place, that can do it for every student. Our strong track record of engaged learning means that today about 80% of our students report having had at least one engaged experience but we can do better. We will expand what we offer so that every single student can pursue an out-of-class experience that is tracked and integrated with their academic and professional goals. Another reason we can live up to this promise is our supportive campus culture. Our faculty and staff are dedicated mentors committed to the success of each student. We can deliver an integrated for an integrated experience for every student with a wealth of opportunities not available at smaller schools along with a level of personal attention that larger schools can't achieve. And today I'm excited to announce one more reason why I'm confident Furman can live up to this promise to our students. 
I'm delighted to tell you that the Duke Endowment has committed $47 million to help us launch the Furman Advantage. one of the largest gifts ever in Furman history. It's an incredible gift for a university of our size and it will transform the student experience. The Duke Endowment's gift includes a $25 million grant that will expand student access to research, study away, internships, and community-based projects. Their grant will support new tools to track our students' experiences and better connect them to outcomes. It also includes more than $22 million for student scholarships announced last fall. The Duke Endowment has a long history of supporting Furman and initiatives that strengthen education and contribute to the well being of our community. To be sure, we will need to find additional partners to fully achieve our grand vision, but we couldn't even attempt this without the Duke Endowment's help. I'm enormously grateful for the vote of confidence they've given us. And now let me tell you what the Duke Endowment gift is launching and how we are going to deliver on our bold promise to students. We begin by seeking students from different backgrounds and we welcome them into a community that respects each person and celebrates difference. This is important because the world is changing. We owe it to our students to prepare them for the diverse communities and workplaces they'll enter. And then we'll lead them on a journey of discovery. Our Liberal Arts and Sciences Foundation allows them to explore the breadth of human knowledge. We have long valued student reflection at Furman and now we will connect it more strongly to each student's program of study. Already we're piloting tools that help our students identify their strengths and find their calling. Next, we surround our students with a community of mentors, faculty, staff, alumni, and community leaders who are invested in their success. We are creating an innovative team advising program to better support students and integrate the different parts of their Furman experience. The heart of the Furman Advantage is the four-year pathway. This will integrate co-curricular experiences with classroom work and help students chart a course from their interests and skills to life after college. It will help them identify which experiences and relationships will be most valuable in moving them toward their goals. Furman's four-year pathway is our innovative approach to connect the dots between the classroom, mentoring relationships, and engaged learning. And as a Furman parent, I'd like to highlight the four-year piece. Increasingly, students in college are taking five years, six, or even more to graduate, which increases the cost and debt. At Furman, our goal is for all students to finish in four years, which makes Furman education an even greater value. The Furman Advantage will make sure they're on track to do that. The Duke Endowment support is allowing us to ramp up the number of engaged learning experiences. We're guaranteeing that every student will have at least one. Ideally, they will have multiple experiences that connect to their academic program and prepare them for their careers and community impact. It's not enough, though, to simply provide more. We're also building tools to track each student's experience so we can make sure we are living up to our promise for every student. Armed with these data and student reflection, we can better measure outcomes, the connection between specific experiences, academic and career success, and personal well-being. 
Every university is struggling to do this well, and we believe we can be a leader. Equally important, students will be able to demonstrate to graduate schools and future employers the skills they have gained through the Furman Advantage. Furman already is a leader in providing our students with opportunities for significant research with faculty. Our Study Away program takes students on faculty-led immersions into the business, politics, and culture of more than 30 countries. We place students in a growing number of internships, and this year, we piloted an alumni mentors program to expand those opportunities and leverage the connections of Furman's more than 30,000 alumni. Our, mod our model of community-centered learning is another exciting part of the Furman Advantage. The Riley Institute and the David E. Shy Center for Sustainability have extended Furman's reach into Greenville, and we're building on those successes. Our burgeoning partnership with the Greenville Health System is creating even more opportunities for students. In fact, Furman is the only liberal arts institution that is a partner and an academic health center. We'll expand these programs and launch new ones where the needs of the community and Furman's strengths overlap. The result will be a set of public-facing institutes that bring students, faculty, and community members together to tackle issues of importance to the community. The solutions we discover can be put into practice across South Carolina and around the world. This is the Furman Advantage. It's a promise to our students of an unparalleled education, one that prepares them for lives of purpose, success in their careers, and an ability to contribute to their communities. It's also a promise to our community that we will increase our engagement and deploy our students, faculty, and staff in partnership to make a lasting contribution. And now I'm pleased to introduce Minor Shaw, Chair of the Board of the Duke Endowment. Minor has been a generous and committed civic leader in Greenville in South Carolina, and we're honored to have her with us today. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth, for that introduction, and also thank you for asking me to speak today, be part of this fabulous day, and I just have to say, looking out at the fountain and everyone here, this is just a great day for Furman. It could not be a more beautiful day. And I want to thank you also for your extraordinary vision in helping develop this expiring vision. Your Furman Advantage will dramatically expand opportunities for your students and it will make Furman an even bigger contributor to Greenville, South Carolina and also to the world. The Duke Endowment's founder, James B. Duke, believed in the power of education to energize communities and to transform lives for the better. He also believed deeply in the value of communities acting together to shape their destinies. The Duke Endowment's grants have honored his beliefs by strengthening communities in the Carolinas through programs that nurture children, promote health, educate minds, and enrich rich spirits. One reason that I am so excited about this vision for Furman is that it combines two of the Duke Endowment's highest priorities, education and community well-being. Your model of community-centered learning will distinguish Furman University. Many universities engage the community, and others have community-focused research, but it is not often that they are knitted together. As you launch projects that are guided by both faculty expertise and community needs, and as you create opportunities for students to be right in the middle of the action, Furman will be building something truly special. The Duke Endowment wants to make a lasting impact by funding programs that can be replicated and by holding ourselves accountable and also our grantees accountable for the results. One appealing aspect of the Furman Advantage is that your commitment to gathering data is very special 
And using what you learn to scale up that effort with the data is very unique among college campuses. This is something that universities elsewhere and really everywhere are dealing with. The question of how do we know that we are making a difference in our students' lives. With the seed money provided by the Duke Endowment, Furman will develop better ways of tracking and assessing the student experience. You will be able to use what you learn to design experiences that will do the most for students' future success. Success in their jobs, success in their lives, and success in their communities. It's exciting to think about Furman learning how to tackle community challenges in a way that can be duplicated everywhere. And that is very special for Furman and will greatly increase your impact. The Furman Advantage, the future of Furman, and also the future of Greenville are tied together. On behalf of the Duke Endowment, I thank you for your commitment to Greenville and to the region. But I especially thank you for preparing your students to lead lives that are successful and also meaningful. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce George Shields, who is Furman's Vice President for Academic Affairs and the Provost. George. Minor, thank you for your enthusiastic support of Furman U University and our vision for the future. We would not be able to launch the Furman Advantage without the Duke Endowment's generous funding. It will make a huge difference in the lives of our students and in our community. I am speaking today both as the senior academic leader of Furman and as a representative of the faculty. I am relatively new to this campus, having arrived in July. That gives me some credibility as someone who has seen the view from other universities. And I tell you, this is a great place. One thing that struck me right away in my interviews and after I arrived on campus is to the degree to which Furman faculty are committed to our students. Faculty members have personal relationships with their students and they spend a great deal of time working to ensure each student has a satisfying and rewarding experience. Every faculty member has multiple stories about the students, now alumni, who they stay in touch with and continue to mentor years after graduation. In addition, staff members act as mentors in ways that go way beyond their job responsibilities. So, the Furman Advantage builds on our strengths and our identity. The promise we are making today to provide an extraordinary experience for every student comes out of very hard work by the Strategic Vision Advisory Council, a group of faculty and staff from across the campus. The faculty as a whole voted unanimously last month to endorse the Furman Advantage. That vote represents our faculty's commitment to deliver an excellent education that prepares our students to pursue fulfilling careers, contribute to their communities, and find purpose in their lives. The best testament to the value of a firm in education is our students and our alumni. You will now get to hear from two very inspiring young people. Our first speaker will be Mahmoud Syed, a Furman senior majoring in biochemistry who will graduate next spring. Because of his experience here, Mahmoud is considering a career in medical research and surgery. Next, you will hear from Alyssa Richardson, who graduated in 2012 and has just accepted her dream job at a federal agency here in South Carolina prosecuting civil rights violations. Alyssa credits the mentoring and experiences she had here for preparing her for this role. Our two speakers certainly represent the best qualities of Furman. They also represent Furman's promise to our students that they will each have access to the same kind of life-changing experiences and dedicated mentors that opened doors for Alyssa and Mahmoud. Please welcome Mahmoud Syed. Uh, 
thank you, Dr. Shields. Uh, I want to also thank the Duke Endowment for their continuing support of the student experience at Furman. Uh, for me, Furman has provided substantial opportunities for, to participate in internships, research, and mentoring both on and off campus. Uh, this last fall, I shadowed in the anesthesiology department at Patewood Memorial as part of Furman's clinical observation program. This experience made possible through a unique partnership between Greenville Health System and Furman allowed me to observe a surgery in real life. There was no computer monitor standing in my way. I was there. I mean, they cut that thing open and it was, oh my God. That was, whoo, that was bad. Um, but, but, the craziest thing about it was the surgeons. They, they would, you know, just talk about, hey, hey, Phil, what, what are you having for lunch? I don't know, Jim, all right? Why don't you make the choice this time? You know, they're having, that's the kind of conversations they're having. And they were able to get the surgery done in about an hour. And it was a total knee replacement of all surgeries. Uh, and in a few hours, uh, the patient was able to, uh, you know, start recovering and was beginning to walk again. It's, it was absolutely amazing to see that and experience that. And it really brought back my initial passion uh, for surgery again as a potential career option. Uh, but that, that was just amazing. Um, but back on campus, uh, I have had the privilege of working with uh, some of the brightest chemists in the field. Um, I participated in several summers of research with uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dr. Wheeler. Uh, and I also participated in a summer of research with Dr. Springsteen. Um, for uh, Dr. Springsteen, I actually ended up working on an independent project that both him and I uh, you know, came up with. And it was, it was just an amazing experience uh, to work on that, because he didn't really help me. Uh, he just wanted to see me struggle. You know, he, he really wanted, yeah, he really wanted to see me suffer, but it was good. It was for, it had, he had good intentions. Um, uh, my time with Mr. and Mrs. Dr. Wheeler, that was my initial foray into what it means to be a scientist. My time in Dr. Springsteen's lab was very much expanding upon that and pushing my intellectual limits to see, you know, am I really cut out for this job? Um, and for me, the Wheelers, they really seemed like a second set of parents to me. Um, they were very nurturing, they're su they were supportive, and they provided me with just excellent advice for uh, you know, my future career options. Uh, if they're the parents, then Dr. Springsteen's obviously the cool uncle um, <laughs> with excellent advice and mentoring who is always down for some intense ping pong matches. That's for sure. Um, so overall, the attention I received from the Wheelers and Dr. Springsteen pushed me to strive for excellence in whatever I pursued. Uh, at its core, Furman excels in building strong, substantive, substantive relationships between students and mentors. The small, intimate campus allows mentors to get to know many of their students on a deep, personal level. They learn their strengths, weaknesses, and idiosyncrasies. Furman faculty partner with students to help them chart unique paths that encourage and guide potential. I experienced this, and I am excited to know that these kinds of opportunities for learning and growing experiences will be expanded to include all students. And I just want to say, it's just really nice to have like, these really prestigious people having your back, you know, guiding you through life. So that's, that's really nice to have, and I'm glad I had it here at Furman. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, I'm pleased now to introduce Alyssa Richardson. Thank you, Mahmoud. Um, I get so excited when I hear incredible stories like Mahmoud's because I believe that those kinds of experiences can and should be the experience for every Furman student. Uh, my name is Alyssa Richardson, and I am a 2012 graduate of Furman University. I am also a 2015 graduate of Harvard Law School, 
And I am almost excited to announce that pending the clearance of a background check, I will be beginning a job with a federal agency here in state working on civil rights violations. I am incredibly excited to be back on campus and not just to try the new Tupelo Honey at the Trone Center, <laughs> but for this huge announcement. I am so thankful to the Duke Endowment for their commitment to the Furman Advantage to, and their commitment to the kind of experience I had at Furman. It was a dynamic, engaging experience that prepared me for a meaningful life and left me saying, I love my alma mater. Furman changed my life. Now, just to back up a minute, I did not arrive on campus singing Furman's praises. You know, people like to joke that Furman reminds, the beautiful campus reminds them of a country club. Well, I've never been to a country club. In fact, before coming to, coming to Furman, I'd never ridden on a golf cart. I'd never flown on an airplane. I never even left the country. So my first year being among my colleagues, I felt quite out of place. But that's the beauty of a place like Furman. The diversity of people and experiences enriches us rather than divides us. One of the first people I interacted with at Furman was Kathy Stevens, a program director, director with the Riley Institute. She was warm, she was friendly, she was inviting, but I thought, oh my goodness, this woman is over the top. She barely knew me, and here she was suggesting internships I should pursue, fellowships I should apply for, extracurricular activities I should do. And there I was, a kid from rural Dillon, South Carolina. My parents sent me to Furman with one objective, get a great education. So I interpreted that as keep your head down and make good grades. But according to Kathy Stevens, that wasn't the way engaged learning worked. What Kathy and so many other mentors instilled in me was the value of a Furman education was more than academics. Sure, rigorous academics is a given, but the true value of a Furman education is having access to resources that allowed me to pursue my passions outside the classroom. And so I follow, followed Kathy Stevens' advice. I went to Hawaii with the Riley Institute to study economics and trade relations. I went to Ottawa and worked with a member of Canadian Parliament to pass legislation. And I traveled all over the country to compete in mock trial tournaments. And each time I got back to campus, I would say two things. First, wow, I am incredibly jet lagged. <laughs> and second, I would say, I never thought I would be doing these things. I never thought I could afford to do these things. But through Furman's Internship Fellows Program, through the Riley Institute, through the support of alumni and donors, I had these dynamic, engaging experiences that changed my life. Today, I know that I was incredibly fortunate to have these opportunities, these mentors and the alumni connections. And that's where I am, why I am where I am today. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love my alma mater, Furman changed my life. And it wasn't just being introduced to the law or getting incredible legal internships, it was the intangible education as well. The soft skills that a kid from rural South Carolina just didn't have. I learned to speak up before being spoken to. I learned to be confident in my answers. I learned to be confident in my questions. And most importantly, I learned that help and support was always available if I asked, and even when I didn't. Today, Furman is expanding these opportunities on such an ambitious scale that every student will get the kind of experience I was fortunate enough to have. The Furman Advantage, along with the support of the Duke Endowment, will ensure that scores of students leave this place saying, I love my alma mater. Furman changed my life. Thank you. Well, I want to thank all of our speakers for helping us to see and to hear the impact Furman has in the lives of our students and certainly of the community. Uh, I truly believe the Furman Advantage makes Furman a model not only for liberal arts colleges, but for all higher education. I commend President Davis, the faculty, the staff, and the leadership of the university for your far-reaching vision and your laser focus on the value you deliver for our students. 
and I too would like to express my gratitude to the Duke Endowment and to Furman's many partners out here today for helping making this vision a reality. My thanks to those of you that joined us on the uh, joined us at the event today, but also both in person and on, tuned into the web feed. Uh, I now welcome those that are here to celebrate and continue the celebration. You're all invited uh, to remain for a picnic and festivities on the mall. Thank you very much. Thank you.